Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about the range. If the range of the function f of x equal to ln x multiplied with ln x to the power of 2 plus ln x to the power of 3 plus 3 over ln x to the power of 2 plus ln x to the power of 2 inside the ln x and we have the plus number 2 in here can be expressed as a over b and c over d where a, b, c, d are ramp numbers not necessarily distinct then find the value of a plus b plus c plus d over 2 so I will show you the technique how to answer the question in here we have the power 2 on the s inside ln so we put the number 2 in here similar for s to the power of 3 we put number 3 in here and we have number 2 in here next we put we put a equal to l and s so we got the new one LNS multiplied with LNS, you got about LNS to the power of 2, so you got about 2 a square 3a plus 3. The next one we have a square plus 2a plus 2. So we put about plus a, then we need to minus a. Number 3, we put number 1, minus 1. 3a plus a, you got about 4a. 3 plus 1, you got about number 4. Next. This one, we can do factorization with number 2. And this one divide this one so you got number two in here and we have the negative a plus one over a square plus two a plus two now we need to find first the derivative of this function in here I do first the derivative of this one. First, the derivative of i is still number one, so we got a square plus two i plus two. Next, we have the negative. That's about a plus 1 multiplied with 2a plus 2. So now we need to simplify everything in here. multiply with 2a you got about 2a square 1 multiply with 2a you got about negative 2a we have 2a again and we have negative number 2 so we have 2a and negative 2a they can solve together number 2 and negative number 2 they can solve a square minus negative 2 a square you got about negative a square negative negative you got about positive
So we put first the derivative of the function equal to zero. So we have this one equal to zero. So we have a equal to number two, negative number two, and a equal to number zero. So in here we can put this value back for f of a in here. If a is equal to negative number two, so we got about f of negative number two equals to let's see about five over two. If s equal to zero, we put in here, and you got about three over two. Why I need to find this value in here because we need to find the maximum and the minimum value if we find the maximum and minimum value we can find the range of this one and based on here so we can find the range that's about 3 over 2 and 5 over 2 and now we can book about the value a b c d in here to find the value 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 divided by 2 and now you got about number 6 and this is the final answer we need to find that's it, the end thank you for watching